All right, so we're doing number four up here. I'm doing the long division, numerator divided by the denominator. What times x squared equals this? And this would be x squared. And I distribute this over here and I get x to the fourth plus zero x cubed plus two x squared. And this is where the biggest mistake happens. You guys got so used to doing numbers, we subtract here, we don't write the minus there. But over here, that means you got to change the sign of every problem, everything in here, because you're subtracting all these. So everything cancels out except this negative 2x squared. Then you got to bring down the next number because you got to have a trinomial here, because this is a trinomial. And then you got to ask yourself, what times x squared gives me negative 2x squared? And that would be a negative 2. And then I distribute negative 2 to all of that stuff. And then I have to subtract them. So this becomes a plus. This is a minus. This is a plus. So the everything cancels out except that x. Now that x is, has a smaller is a smaller uh, numerator than this one. So this is my remainder. I can't divide anymore. So whatever, just like over here, this remainder goes on the top of, and the divisor goes on the bottom. Same story. You put your x on the top. And you take your divisor on the bottom. So we're going to rewrite this. This is the same exact thing, just rewritten. So this is the integral. I'm going to get this out of the way. So this is the integral of x squared minus 2 plus x over x squared plus 2. Now again, these things are equal. This thing in parentheses is equal to this thing between the integral and the dx. They're the same, just rewritten. It's like 2 and 1 thirds, the same as 7 thirds. So then you're going to do the integral of each part individually. So the x squared is going to be x cubed over 3 from the power rule. The negative 2 becomes negative 2x from the power rule. And then this part is different. This one you can't do because there's no such thing as a quotient rule. So now... If I do a u substitution and do the bottom because the power is bigger, the derivative of 2x squared is x, which is what I got in the top. So now we're where we want to be. So I'm going to let u be, I'm going to write over here so you can see it better. u is going to be x squared plus 2, which makes du 2x. Now that's du dx, but again, we multiply the dx to this side because we're going to substitute that du in for the dx part. So it says this. This part on the top has to not only have an x and a dx, we need a 2. So I got to create a 2, and I got to come in front of the integral and destroy that 2. So I still have the x cubed over 3 minus the 2x. And then I got plus a half, and now I have the integral of 1 over u du. Now we have a rule for 1 over u du, that is. Natural log. natural log. The only time it becomes natural log is if this is a variable to the first power. Any other time you use power rule, you have to move it up and use power rule. So this will end up being x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus 1 half natural log absolute value of u. Now, we cannot leave u, we cannot leave u in a problem, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in for it. This is going to be the absolute value of x squared plus 2 in absolute values. Now, in this particular case, oops, that should be a plus c up there, not equal 0. Plus c. Can you guys see that? A little bit. So your answer is x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus a half natural log absolute value of x squared plus 2, and then plus c out there by itself. Now, you would not, on this case, you would not have to have x squared plus 2 in absolute value. Okay? And I want to explain to you why. Does anybody know why we put absolute value around the ln? You can only take a natural log of a positive. If you guys looked at the natural log graphs, they all go like this. Logarithms and natural logs all go like this. In other words, the domain of all the domain of all logs is greater than zero to infinity. You cannot put zero or negatives in there. That's why we have absolute values around them saying it's got to be a positive, or you can't do a natural log of it. Now, why would I not need it on x squared plus two? Anybody know? 
Anything you score is positive, right? Except zero is zero, but if you add two to it, it's still positive, right? So this is this thing right here inside here is greater than zero anyway. But I would just leave absolute <clears throat> absolute values on it anyway. It won't be wrong. So go ahead and leave the absolute values on until the end of time. What else we got? Anything else on six ten? Yep. Number ten. You told me that. And I should have got I think I already got a picture maybe. Let's go look. I do, and it's still on there from last class because I did it. And there's already a video of this on there. I'm gonna so I'm gonna shut this video off.